What's up everyone, my name's Garrett. I'm a full-time seven-figure Amazon seller. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over my top three favorite categories that I like to sell wholesale on Amazon. If you're new to the channel, I talk everything Amazon, how to make money selling on Amazon here on my channel. So definitely consider subscribing. But like I said, we're gonna deep dive into my personal three favorite categories I like to source wholesale products in. And this is just basically due to my personal experience. Some of you may have different experiences, but I've pretty much sold wholesale in a majority of the popular categories that people like to sell in. So I wanna give you the pros and cons of my top three favorite ones that I like to sell in now. So the first category that I really enjoy selling wholesale products in on Amazon is going to be the grocery category. Now the first reason I really like selling in the grocery category is the very low return rate. So there's pretty much no returns in the grocery category unless it gets damaged or there's a defect in the product and expiration date missed out. But there's no returns in the grocery category so that is why I love selling in it who likes getting returns as a Amazon seller I know I don't and not getting any returns allows us to predict our margin which makes sourcing products a lot easier we know our fixed cost and how that's going to be impacted by our return rate which with other categories isn't the case so grocery no returns is one of the pros now another pro with the grocery category is there's so many different grocery products right and people need groceries right people need to eat in order to survive so a a lot of these products are replenishable consumables where customers are going to be ordering these products from you over and over again. So if you find a wholesale supplier where you can get these products, you can likely purchase them over, over and over again. And the same repeat customers will keep coming back to you and purchasing that product on Amazon, which leads you to growing your business long term, right? Another great pro of selling in the grocery category is the variations that are created within the grocery category. Sometimes you might see a ketchup and a mustard bundle, um, two different flavored candy bundles. There's tons of different bundles within the grocery category, which creates a great opportunity when you're sourcing products, because a lot of times these listings aren't connected to the actual UPC of the product. So if you're an Amazon seller, like I teach to go and do that manual research of these products, you're going to find a lot of listings with low competition and high margin, which is going to leave you with a lot of profit at the end of the day. And the last thing that I find so appealing about selling in the grocery category on Amazon is they have a ton of products that are small and light, right? And so small and light program on Amazon is Amazon gives you a big, big discount on the fees structure within the small and light program. And that price point just got raised, leaving us with a ton of opportunity as Amazon starts to sell these small and light products that move very quickly. We can do a lot of volume and have a very, very healthy ROI and still be able to make it work, right? A lot of times in the past, we couldn't sell a $12 product and make it work just because the margins didn't make sense. Now with this small and light program, there's a lot of grocery products that are small, lightweight, and qualify for this program, leaving us with an immense opportunity that us Amazon sellers can take advantage of. And that's really something this year in 2023, me personally, I'm focusing going hard on the small and light program. Like I said, the ROI is great. The margin is great. Yeah, we're making a little smaller price point profit per unit, but as long as our processes are efficient, our ROI is gonna be great and our margin is gonna be great in that small and light program. So those are all the pros I like about selling in the grocery category. The second category I like sourcing wholesale products to sell on Amazon is going to be the beauty category. Now this isn't gonna be your high-end beauty products like MAC makeup and all those higher-end beauty products. That's not the type of stuff I'm talking about. I'm talking like your everyday household essentials, you know, shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, those all fall into the health and wellness beauty category. Um, and those are just things that, again, are consumables and people need them in their daily lives, right? People are always gonna need toothpaste, they're always gonna need shampoo, they're always gonna need conditioner, they're always gonna need how, like different random beauty products, right? That every single person that shops on Amazon uses. And the reason I like this category is there's a ton of distributors out there that are, is, are very easy to access with a ton of different beauty 
and just kind of wellness products, right, that we can go out as Amazon sellers, open accounts with, and source these large catalogs. Now, another great thing about selling in this category is, again, the variations, right? We have a shampoo conditioner bundle. There's tons of different variations within this category, which leaves a sourcing opportunity for those of us that are doing manual research and not just using a product scraper. We can then go out and find these listings and find the products wholesale and make a very healthy margin. Another pro of selling in this category is the return Turn rate is very, very small. Like I said, unless something breaks or unless it's somehow defective or something goes wrong with that process, people aren't really returning a lot of shampoo. People aren't really returning a lot of toothpaste because they're actually using it. They actually need it. It's not like a pair of shoes where they get it, it doesn't fit, or they just don't like the look of it, so they return it. No, these are products that people need. These are products that they're just not gonna return in a lot of cases. And like I said, one of the pros is the replenishability and kind of long-term growth aspect of having repeat customers on Amazon. You'd be surprised of how many repeat, I've had customers ordering the same product for me for like over a year, just every single month, ordering it again and again and again, and selling products like a toothpaste or a shampoo, these are products where if someone likes that product and you're offering it for a good price on Amazon, they've bought it from you before so they can trust you as a third-party Amazon seller, they're gonna keep coming back for that convenience of that two-day shipping and they're gonna keep coming back and purchasing those products from you, which allows you to grow and scale even more. And guys, there's also a lot of products in this category that qualify for the small and light program. Like just recently I was selling some of those kind of like eye things that a lot of girls put under their eyes to get rid of the eye bags, or I don't know, whatever you call it. They come in small packages and you put a little three pack or something like that. It's super, super light, super, super small. So it qualifies for that small and light program. So we're able to just find a ton of products in this category as well that fit that program. And I'm challenging you guys watching this video, if you have not gotten involved in the Small and Light program, there is a ton of opportunity that people are just sleeping on. I feel like this is gonna be the next big trend that a lot of people are gonna be talking about is the Small and Light program, especially as Amazon has raised that price threshold lately. So definitely check out the health, wellness, beauty category on Amazon. And finally, guys, we have reached the last category. And this might be a surprise to you guys but me personally I've had a lot of success selling in this category and actually finding suppliers to easily open accounts with and that's gonna be like the arts and crafts and supply category right we're selling you know it might be scissors yarn arts and crafts stuff things of that nature rulers um, I've sold like different grids to where people like measure stuff to cut out the their materials to do arts and crafts all that crazy stuff right um, sewing material, stuff like that. I've found tons of distributors and there's just not a lot of competition in this category just because I feel like it's not that exciting to a lot of people. But there are tons of distributors out there with very, very, very large categories. I have an account with a arts and craft distributor that has over 100,000 SKUs. So it's a very big category. The volume's decent. And again, there's not a ton of returns in this category. People are buying these products like yarn, sewing material, just different scissors, because they need to use them, right? Sometimes you're gonna get a return here and there, but it's one of the lower percentages categories versus compared to like shoes and clothing where you're at a 10, 15% return rate. This is another category where people are actually gonna use this stuff. They actually need the stuff that you're selling them. So they don't really have that urge to return it for whatever reason. And I really like this category because like I said, there's a ton of products and there's just doesn't seem to be as much competition. When I'm hopping on these listings, the prices aren't tanking like they do in some of the other categories. So that's just something to think about as a pro as well. And lastly, one of my favorite parts about selling in this category is the small and light program. I sell a ton of small yarns and stuff like that, or the sewing strings, or I don't know. I'm not good with what these products are called. I just sell them, right? Tiny, small, lightweight stuff, small and light program. I might be paying a dollar for an item, selling it for 10, making a couple bucks, or buying it for three bucks, selling it for 12, making 250 on it. There's a lot of opportunity and high volume stuff that we can then take advantage of just by simply using that small and light program and taking that fee structure in that program and using it to our advantage. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. What's your favorite categories to sell in? Let me know down in the comment section below. Again, if you're new to the channel, um, I host a free training every single Sunday, so link down in the description, definitely check that out. And if you wanna grow and scale your very own Amazon business, you might be a new seller, you might be been selling for a while, 
profile. I know I can help you inside of my program because the results of my students speak for themselves. So if you wanna grow and scale your business, definitely check out the Arbitrage University link down in the description. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. And I'll see you on the next video.